My friends, come on in. It's time for Monte Cristo. If you've never had this before, think of the best grilled cheese sandwich you've ever had. Now, we needed to make some egg wash. I've got a couple of eggs here, a little bit of water, stirred it up. Your favorite bread, for me it's potato bread, and I only want to dip one side, and you'll see why here in just a minute. You want it coated like so. Down it goes, just a pat of margarine or butter there to keep that nice and golden for us. There we go. Now we're going to take and add whatever cheese is your favorite. Today, the crew is going to be eating mozzarella and an American cheese. Now, this sandwich had huge popularities in the 60s and 70s, partially because it was considered a bit decadent. The other side of it that has changed over the years is people are cooking it a little differently now. Back then, especially when I started in the restaurant field, this was a sandwich dip, dipped entirely in the egg and then deep fried, to which point it'd be cut, usually served with a syrup. Today, however, you're gonna be tasting something that was made with uh, cheddar spread, cranberry, jellied cranberries, and a bit of uh, uh, peppers, excuse me, roasted peppers inside of it. Uh, that together forms this combination. That's gonna be our dip today. Now, on top of this, we're using goose. So we made a home-built smoker system. This is what the goose had started out like, the goose breast. This took us about eight minutes to do. I'm still a little bit red here, which is what I want. Now I'm gonna lay this goose out, because this will kind of finish as it's going. You know, I don't want to get it too done or it'll get too dry. So, here we go, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna lay that out, I'm not gonna look cheap. We're gonna make this real nice. Underneath this smoking unit was nothing but an old pan that we're gonna discard. I have a briquette, a little bit of wood, and I put a little foil on top to keep the meat up out of it. But the minute I started it on the burner, you can see the effects, okay? And uh, this is not, not only a nice way to smoke it, but you'll see that it stayed pretty tender on the outside. I did not brine this at all. <clears throat> this just went in there raw. That's it, and we did it right here in front of, of you today. Now, we're gonna just double check here, see where we're at. For golden wise, oh, minute more. You're gonna wanna go till this is pretty stiff. You can see it's got just a, just a minute to go, so I got time to sing you a song if I had to. We have a plate set up for it, ready to rumble. The cheese is starting to melt, so that gives me a good sign that we're darn close. Now, you see what's happening here. <clears throat> We're gonna check the other one, even better. Now, had we dipped this and fried this, you would have had that egg feature all the way around this material. Now, the other question you're probably asking is, hey, Kurt, you didn't pre-melt the cheese or anything, but I don't really have to. You see what's happening here to the cheese if you peek? It's already melting. The warmth of the goose is gonna do that, and the rest takes takes its effect right there. Now, having said that, here's what happens. Lunch is about to be served. Boom. And now just to transfer over. This, my friend, is a new healthier Monte Cristo sandwich one that'll go well with this particular spread. I hope you get the opportunity to try this at home. It's a nice way to use the goose meat, which is very lean, and it's good for you. Please give it a try.